Welcome to Franchise TV on his YouTube channel. I'll unbox anything. They're opening up the new Star Wars Galaxy box. This is a box that is sold by Culturefly. This is a quarterly subscription box. So it's nothing but Star Wars goodness in here. It's around, I think, $50 to $60 every quarter with shipping costs are involved in this. So there are no autographs in this. So if you're an autograph collector, this is not the subscription box for you. This is more about collectibles and kind of like geeky goodness is in these kinds of subscription boxes with Culture Fly. So yes, I am a Star Wars fan, but I'm not like a hardcore fan that knows every character from every movie ever made. So there's a good chance I might not know certain, you know, obscure characters in these boxes. And I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the cartoon series that, that, that were made. Just, I just never got into them. So um, I've tried to watch a few of them. I just, like, I tried to watch The Bad Batch. I just couldn't get into it. I've tried to watch the Clone Wars cartoon series. I couldn't get into it. It just, I just can't get into it. I need the live action stuff, I guess. I don't know. Here we go. So it's actually a pretty cool looking box. Here's the front of it. That's what it looks like. Then we've got the side. Yes, yeah, so this will be the third quarter box. Let's see what we got. If it'll open up. There we go. Let's get around a little bit, see what we got in here. Okay, right on top, I feel something like a pouch. Oh, then we have like a, like a pencil pouch. Jedi Order pencil pouch. Okay. Great for younger kids in school, high schoolers. I guess even people in college if they wanted to. But a Jedi Order pencil pouch. Not for me. You know, I would not keep anything like this. It has a Actually, it has two, two pouches. A front pouch and then upper pouch. New attack. So, actually, probably most everything in this box will be for sale in my eBay store. There will be a direct link down below to my eBay. So, even the video that you see, you like to purchase, will be available. Oh, here's monthly pin. Who we have? Looks like the just like the the Jedi, like the logo pin. Okay, I'm not a pin collector. A lot of people are. A lot of people have like pin boards that they create with like the uh, like the cork boards, you know. Everybody collects different stuff. This is probably going to be a cheat sheet a bit, right? Yeah. Cheat sheet. Put off to, to the side. We don't see that yet. Next item. This thing is full of stuff. We have a lightsaber keychain. Okay. Very thin. It's like a half lightsaber. Not really impressed with that. Not my favorite item in that box for sure. Let's see, where's like an like a like a clothing article? Let me see what this thing is. A backpack or something? Yes, yeah, looks like we have kind of like a um, what's the thing called? A messenger bag, a Jedi Order messenger bag. That's not bad. It'd probably fit like a 13-inch laptop, I bet. Wouldn't fit anything massive in it. Nothing huge. Kind of nice to open up the flap. You got the Star Wars Galaxy Box logo. And the Jedi Order logo in the front of the bag. That's kind of like that greenish, grayish tint color to it. It's not, not bad. It has magnetic closure to it. No snaps with magnets with tags. I'm sure the strap is inside this thing. I didn't open up all the way to look inside, but... Okay. Nothing so far. Oh, I, I think I feel this shirt in here, maybe. There's all kinds of stuff in here. We have the silica gel. Okay, we have, looks like, oh, just a notepad and a pen or pencil, a pen. Oh, different lightsabers on there. Different Jedi lightsabers on it, the notepad. Okay, nothing so far in this box has, like, grabbed me and wowed me yet. I mean, the best item so far would be, like, the messenger bag, but nothing's really, like, especially for the price of this box. Like I said, it's, like, 50, 60 bucks for this box. It's not cheap. Nothing so far has really like grabbed me and be like, man, this this was a good item. Haven't found that item yet. Let's see. Okay, this might be it. Looks like we have a jacket. This might be it. 
Looks like we have a, like a pullover jacket. This is a Ahsoka hooded windbreaker. That's nice. I still have not watched any of the new Ahsoka series on Disney Plus. Guilty. I have not sat down and watched it yet. It's on my bucket list to do. I haven't even started watching the Loki season two yet. They're both. I, I, I need to catch up on my Disney Plus series. There's the front. Here's the back of it. That's not bad, is it? Ahsoka Tano. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. You know what? In stores, this is probably running like thirty bucks in stores. I bet. Hmm. Nice quality. Nice windbreaker right there. Yeah, this is a good in store. Thirty bucks. This would probably pay for easy half of your box. But I mean, I actually won't keep this. I don't wear windbreakers. I haven't actually owned a windbreaker probably since I was a child. So this will be in my eBay store. So this honestly probably won't last very long. Somebody's gonna grab this up. Probably the most bad in this box is in the windbreaker. It's a nice item though. Oh, is that it? Yep, that's it. So there's the inside of the box, what it looks like. I was expecting like one more thing still. Hmm, okay, let me see the cheat sheet. Make sure we got all my stuff. This box usually has more stuff in it, doesn't it? Okay, so the Star Wars, this is called the Jedi Way Box, the contents. You have the hooded jacket, it is a two-way jacket with a front and a back view to it, which I'm, price-wise, like in stores, to be honest with you, it's probably 30 bucks in stores, probably 30 bucks. You got the messenger bag, it's a nice bag, Star Wars branded, it's probably good 20 bucks in stores. So, I mean, the, the jacket and the messenger bag, you could probably say those two, like full retail value, if they were sold in stores, would probably pay for most of the value of this box. And then you got the lightsaber keychain, five bucks. Then you got the Jedi pin. Pins can sometimes have pretty good value to them. Uh, some of these pins can go for like five, ten dollars. We'll just say like five bucks, five, ten. Then the the pencil bag, five, ten dollars. So I say in terms of full retail value, full retail value, you pretty much probably paid full price for everything here. More than likely. More than likely. So I mean, if if you are a Star Wars collector of stuff, you would have been happy with the contents because you would have felt like you got your money back in terms of what you paid. So that's a positive. I mean, the jacket, I think, is an incredibly nice jacket. I am impressed with the quality of the jacket because sometimes in the past... Subscription boxes, your jackets sometimes can be kind of lesser quality. You know what I mean? This one's actually a nice jacket. It's nice quality. So this box, if I give it like a, a, up to a five-star rating, I give it like a 3.5. You know, like a B minus rating, let's say. About a three, three, three out of five stars. So a little bit above average. So that's, I don't think that's a bad rating, right? So the next box probably won't get until probably late December, more likely, which will be the fourth quarter box. Will it be a Hoth-themed box, maybe? I guess we'll find out. See you next time on the Franchise TV YouTube channel.